Film time. <laughs> And God heard them, and cast into Egypt, into the lowly hut of Amram and Yoshebel, the seed of a man, hmm. upon whose mind and heart Similar to what happened would when be written God's law God sent and Jesus. God's commandment. Isn't it? One man hmm. to stand alone against an empire. Yep. They wanted to kill Moses. And what happened with Jesus? Herod wanted to kill Jesus, didn't he? Like Ramesses killed all the first one of the Israelite children and someone saved Jesus and, and they saved Moses one a symbol to redeem his people God of Abraham take my child into thy hands that he may live to thy service but Jesus was is God it's a difference <laughs> just adding that in there but look foreshadow of who was to come isn't it Moses but mother we have not even God will give him a name. <laughs> As he'll give us a name on a white stone one day. Revelation. A new name. Follow it, Miriam. Watch it from the reeds. I'd rather be alone now. That's why they call it a Moses now basket. The Moses basket. Love this film. Yes, I can see him. <laughs> Moses, Moses. <laughs> My arms stay strong in your service, great city. So here he is, being Who in league is this with fair young God the Egyptians. No need to tell you how I share her joy at your return. Mm, no not need, really. my brother. Great one, I bring you Ethiopia. Just enjoying this film, and I just had another thought <laughs> about Joseph when Joseph was sent to, um, sold into slavery, wasn't he? Thrown into a pit by his brothers, and then he ended up um, actually saving his family. Um, even though he was treated terribly and Moses was treated really well and then he was treated really badly but at the end of it it did the same had the same results he was put in the place where he could do the most work for God this next part of the film reminds me of the bit with the Jewish people when they were waiting for a king to come and rescue them um, from their slavery and from their situation and um, when Jesus did arrive he wasn't what they were hoping for. And they were looking for a king who would have, you know, be royal and, you know, have loads of power and take all this trouble away from them. But Jesus actually came and died on the cross and paid for their sin, which was the biggest trouble any man could ever have. So this is a bit of a similarity here when they talk about um, the Jewish people looking for a saviour. Unfortunately, I have no new treasures today, and you will have none. Stiff-necked slaves die more willingly than bend their backs in your service. Why? Mm -hmm. The believer deliverer has come to lead them from their bondage. Deliverer. Mm -hmm. Deliverer. There we go. You've been foretold by every falling star since my father's time. And now you make him an excuse for your failure to build my city. I am not one to make excuses. You doubt me? Let Moses build the city. Your wish is my will. Then you build my city. Wise decision. Noble task. Ramses, do you believe this slave deliverer is a myth? What I believe is of no account. What matters, the slaves believe in him. Of course, of course. Then you too shall go to Goshen. Learn if this deliverer be a myth or a man. If a myth, bring him to me in a bottle. If a man, bring him to me in chains. Very similar to what happened to All Jesus, wasn't enemies. it? Jesus was brought before the Pontius Pilate and everything, wasn't he? He was brought before him when he was going to be the deliverer and the saviour. When they found that out, they were like, they felt threatened, didn't they? His life in bondage, better than death. 
Hang on, hang on, that was good words. Get that again. Joshua. Wait, hang on, listen to these notes now. We must have hope. God sent us to deliver. Amen, he did. On the heels of every hope was Moses the first time and Jesus the second time. <laughs> well, Jesus God actually always sent someone to save people. But finally Jesus was the final last Adam, wasn't he? The second Adam. Sorry, the second Adam who came to pay for our sins, a life giving spirit. Yep, Jewish people all through history have been looking for a saviour and they still do. And he's already been and he's coming again. But then so's the Antichrist, so you've got to get the right one, people. The Almighty God. If your God is Almighty, why does he leave you in bondage? He will choose the hour of our freedom and the man who will deliver us. Lord Prince, this man speaks treason. It is not treason to want freedom. Amen. Release him. Well said, Moses. This part's interesting as well because um, the Bible says about how the Lord gives us one day to rest, so this is interesting. Bring me the head of the jackal who will free the slaves. Where is it? The slaves do not need to deliver her now. They have Moses. Is that a riddle? He gives them the priest's grain and one day in seven to rest. Mm. They call it the day of Moses. This mm. man makes himself a god. For him as a man. You would prefer him as Pharaoh. Are you afraid of Moses? Yes. Because now he holds Ethiopia in his left hand, Goshen in his right, and you, my Pharaoh, are in between them. Mm. And I reply that he would raise the slaves against me. I'll be his father. Ambition knows no father. Moses could no more betray you than I could, Sid. Mm. He can tell me that when he arrives. You will not be here, my father. Just think of the the courage and the bravery to stand up against someone, you know, the the Egyptian people, and stand up for the, for what's right by the Lord. Standing up against these people after you've been brought up by them, and you know, everything else. Imagine the strength the Lord must have given him to be able to stand up and um, stand against these people. Right, God must have hated seeing his people doing this building a city for people who worship the false god he must the lord hated it he wanted to set his people free he wanted to set his people free there's the obelisk of your jubilee <sighs> put a thousand slaves to removing the sand until the stone settles to its sad base. the moment moses doesn't realize he's actually serving the devil but there soon he'll serve lord the obelisk? fully yes. So here's the bit where Moses shows him that he's built him a statue of to himself. Who has made a statue of this abomination of man? God must have been, you know, like the Bible says, all things work together for the good. Even though God wasn't pleased with this, he allowed all these things to happen for his purposes. And at the time, Moses didn't realise what he was doing. We built this city. Boom. Boom. They built that city on Hebrew slaves, wicked Pharaoh, do, do, using slaves who were Jews, that's not right. Anyway, this is part one of the two-part video I'm going to do. This is when Moses' is, um, not real mother, but comes to visit the real mother of Moses, as Moses has found out who he is, pretty much. Why have you...